Would it be possible to make the U.S. Olympic swim trials while training full-time as a professional triathlete? I came from a swimming background, swimming since the age of 7 years old. I went to Virginia Tech from 2016 to 2020 and swam breaststroke and IM for them. In 2016, the Olympic trials cut for swimming in the 200 IM was 205.09. I ended up going 207, missing it by 2 seconds. In 2020, the cut was 204.09, a full second faster. I ended up going a 204.9, less than a second off from the trials cut. After that, COVID shut everything down, I graduated and started my triathlon journey. I started biking and running and learned a ton from those two sports. After a couple months of racing triathlons, I ended up turning professional, took my pro license, and started my second triathlon season competing as a pro. The ultimate dream is to make the U.S. Olympic trials in the 200 IM and make it to the world championships in the triathlon Ironman 70.3 or Ironman. Now to make it to the world championship in triathlon, the top 60 men go. Each qualifying 70.3 races that I go to, usually the top two, the top three, make it to the world championship. While for swimming, if you hit that time standard at any official swim competition, you make the trials. In the triathlon world, we've seen a couple professional triathletes as well as the professional in each individual sport. For example, Cameron Wirth, who's a world tour pro cyclist for the team Ineos Grenadier and a professional triathlete making it to the Ironman World Championship for several years now. And also Taylor Nib just recently joined the Trek Factory Racing Team as a cyclist and also pursuing her triathlon career. The thing is cycling is different. In triathlon, biking is where the most time is spent. In Ironman, you do let's say a one hour swim, four to four and a half hour bike, and then a three, three and a half hour run. Of course, you need to bike more to prepare for the triathlon in respect to the swimming and the running. So you kind of can get away with that. But for swimming, it's different. My current schedule right now in a peak week is swimming five to six hours a week, cycling 13 to 15 hours a week, and running 46 hours a week. I get around 30 hours a week, including strength work, and swim around 20,000 meters a week. Now back in college, I did not keep track of the yardage, but we did swim around 15 hours a week, which is three times the amount of time spent on swimming in college than what I'm doing in triathlons right now. If I were to swim 15 hours a week in preparation to qualify for this US Olympic trials, how will it hurt my triathlon career? That's what that's what I'm that's what I'm about that's what I'm about to that's what I'm about that's what I'm about to find out. Swimming that much more may improve your triathlon swim time by what, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, which is nothing compared to when you get on a four and a half hour bike, you can improve a couple minutes, or even an Ironman 70.3 bike, which is around two hour, two hour, 10 minutes, you can improve three to four minutes there. Michael Andrews is a sprinter, so he does 50, 100 meter events. All he does in training is fast to 15 meters, 25 fast, and then maybe the occasional 50 meter fast. And you do them over and over and over again, every single day. Again, you leave all the fluff out of the swimming, you do a quick warm up and right into the main set, just honing in on your race pace and trying to improve day after day, week after week. Looking back in my swim career, when I was in high school in 2016, I missed a cut by two seconds. In the fall of 2019, I was less than a second off from the trials cut. I was supposed to swim at the Canadian Olympic trials in 2020, but that's when COVID canceled everything. I was prepared to go, I think a 203, 202. I was feeling really good about myself, about to end my swim career in a big way, making the trials cut, but I didn't get a chance to show what I've got for the 200 IM, so I have some unfinished business to do in the pool. In the next several weeks, I'll be testing what 200 IM and the USRPT set swim training will look like and how it will affect my triathlon career. USRPT is specific, so I waste no time on all those fluffs like kicking, pulling, like 2100, just pull, and do some drills between the set and the cool down. I wouldn't recommend this for a beginner swimmer because the drills and all those fluffs, the volume is needed. But since I'm already a well-established swimmer, I think this may be the best bang for my buck in terms of time. So far, after a week of doing this at altitude at 5,800 feet in Colorado, 
I'm feeling pretty good, a little tired. I have to make sure I'm staying on top of my calories in terms of the food intake, getting in the protein, and getting sleep, naps all the time, so I can also excel in both the biking and the running, which I still plan to do around 15 hours on the bike a week and six hours of running per week. Just the swimming will ramp up significantly. Thanks for watching this video and getting an insight on US Heart PT. I have a link in the description by Dr. Brett Rushell for all my information. My coach Robbie Robbins and I tried this back in 2014, 2015. So I have a very good idea on how to train for this. And I'd like to see what you think by me swimming more per week, how it will affect my triathlon career. Thanks so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.